So hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson for grade 8 mathematics quarter 1. So we are now on the 6th week. So for this particular video lesson, we will be talking about on how to write equation from standard form to slope intercept form and vice versa. So yung standard form po dito is yung ax plus by is equal to c and then yung slope intercept yun naman pong y is equal to mx plus b. So for our lesson objective, of course, we will write the linear equation from the standard form, ax plus by is equal to c, to slope intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b, and vice versa. So susulat natin, ito transform natin from standard form to slope intercept form, and then slope intercept form to standard form. So let's have activity number one. Write the following equations in the form of ax plus by is equal to c. So, yung given po natin dito is naka-slope intercept form. So, let's have example number 1. y is equal to 3x minus 5. So, susulat po natin siya in the form of ax plus by is equal to c sa standard form. So, what we'll do here is to subtract 3x from both sides. So, kailangan po kasi natin ilipat yung 3x. Okay, yung negative 5, dyan lang siya sa right side. So, constant term po kasi siya. And then, magiging y minus 3x equals 3x minus 5 minus 3x. Next, sulat natin as negative 3x plus y equals 3x minus 3x. So, that is 0. Matitira na lang po is negative 5. So, yung final step po natin dito is we have to make sure na yung numerical coefficient ng x is positive. So, we have to multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So, our final answer will be 3x minus y equals 5. So, ibig sabihin, pag tinransform natin yung y is equal to 3x minus 5 into standard form, ito po yung equivalent niya. So, for number 2, y is equal to negative 2x plus 8. Okay, so kailangan po nating tanggalin yung negative 2x sa right side. So, ang gagawin lang natin, since negative siya, mag-add tayo ng 2x. So, magiging y plus 2x equals negative 2x plus 8 and then plus 2x. Okay, and then, i-rewrite lang natin yung y plus 2x. So, kailangan na na yung x. Okay, so 2x plus y equals, so we combine like terms, negative 2x plus 2x, that is 0. So, matitira na lang po is 8. So, our final answer will be 2x plus y equals 8. For number 3, y is equal to 1 third x plus 2 thirds. Okay, so... Ang mangyayari po dito, kailangan po natin kunin yung LCD. Okay, so yung LCD po, least common denominator. So since pareho naman pong 3 yung denominators, so 3 automatically yung LCD. So mangyayari po, ganito, rewrite lang natin yung equation. And then we multiply 3 para ma-eliminate yung denominators. Okay, so next... 3y equals, so, 1 third x times 3, makakancel yung 3, so matitira na lang po is x. And then, 2 third times 3, again, makakancel yung 3, matitira na lang po is 2. Is this the final answer? Hindi po. So, we need to uh, transfer x to the left side. So, ang gagawin po natin, magsusubtract tayo ng x to both sides. So, 3y minus x equals x plus 2 minus x. So, i-rewrite lang po natin. Negative x plus 3y equals x minus x, that is 0. So, matitira na lang po is 2. So, again, kailangan positive po yung numerical coefficient ng x. So, we multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative x, that will become positive x. Negative 1 times 3y, that will become negative 3y, equals 
negative 1 times 2, that is negative 2. Okay, so this will be our final answer. For example number 4, y is equal to negative 2 fifth x plus 3 fourths. So kung kanina yung mga denominators po natin ay pareho, ngayon po magkaiba. Okay, so kukunin po natin LCD ng 5 and 4. So yung LCD po ng 5 and 4 is 20. So and then, rewrite lang natin yung given equation. y is equal to negative 2 fifth x plus 3 fourths. And then, we multiply the whole equation by the LCD, which is 20. Okay? So, y times 20, that is 20y, equals, so, negative 2 fifth x times 20, so, yung 20 tsaka 5, meron silang common factor, which is 5. So, makakancel po yung 5 sa denominator, matitira na lang po is 4. So, negative 2x times 4, that is negative 8x. Next, 3 fourths times 20. So, 4 and 20, pwede po natin yung i-cancel kasi yung GCF is 4. So, yung 20 magiging 5 na lang. And then, yung 4 magiging 1. So, magiging 3 times 5 na lang. That is plus 15. Next, negative 8x, kailangan natin siyang i-transfer sa left side. Okay, so... Magiging 20y plus 8x equals negative 8x plus 15 plus 8x. And then we rewrite 8x plus 20y equals 15. So this will be our final answer. So, for the next activity, number 2, okay, so, kabalig tara naman po. So, we will write the following equations in the form of y is equal to mx plus b and identify the values of m and b. So, yung m po natin dito is the slope. And then, yung b naman po natin dito is yung y-intercept. Okay. So, let's start. Number 1. 5x plus y is equal to 7. So, gagawin natin siyang slope-intercept form. So, ibig sabihin, yung 5x po dito, kailangan po natin i-transfer sa right side. So, magiging ganito siya. 5x plus y minus 5x equals 7 minus 5x. Okay? So, and then, Dito sa left side, matitira na lang po is y. Equals, i-rewrite po natin yung 7 minus 5x as negative 5x plus 7. Okay, so ito na po yung ating sagot. Now, we will identify the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, so based dito sa given natin, yung slope po natin is negative 5. So negative slope po yan. And then, Yung atin naman pong y-intercept is yung 7. So, ganyan lang po yung pag-identify po natin ng slope tsaka y-intercept. For example, number 2, x plus 4y is equal to negative 12. So, again, we need to get out x from left side. Kailangan natin dalhin sa right side. So, we subtract x to both sides. So, x plus 4y minus x equals negative 12 minus x. So, dito sa left side, matitira na lang po is 4y equals, so, negative 12 minus x, i-rewrite nang natin as negative x minus 12. And then, ang gagawin po natin, we divide both sides by 4. So, kailangan po kasi yung numerical coefficient po ng y is 1 lang. Positive 1 lang po dapat. Okay? So, 4y divided by 4, that is y, equals numerical coefficient po ng negative x is negative 1. Okay? So, magiging negative 1 fourth x and then negative 12 divided by 4, that is negative 
3. So it means x plus 4y is equal to negative 12 is equal to y is equal to negative 1 fourth x minus 3. Now, what is the slope? That is negative 1 fourth. What about the y-intercept? That is negative 3. So next example, number 3, 2x minus 3y equals negative 15. So same thing. So yung 2x po dito, kailangan mawala sa left side, madala dapat sa right side. Kapag po kasi hindi natin dinala yung uh, term na may x sa right side, we won't be able to identify the slope. So kasi kailangan po i-transform natin into slope intercept form which is y is equal to mx plus p. So we subtract 2x from both sides. Okay. So 2x minus 2x dito sa left side 0. So matitira lang po is negative 3y equals Negative 15 minus 2x, i-rewrite lang natin as negative 2x minus 15. And then, we divide both sides by negative 3. So, negative 3y divided by negative 3. So, since negative po yung numerical coefficient ng y, kailangan po i-divide po natin is negative then, Kasi kailangan po positive yung y, yung numerical coefficient ng y. So, this will become y equals, so negative 2 over negative 3. So, negative to negative magiging positive. So, our answer will be neg uh, 2 third x and then negative 15 divided by negative 3 that is positive 5. So, our final answer will be y is equal to 2 third x plus 5. So, the slope is 2 over 3 or 2 thirds and then the slope and the y-intercept is 5. For the last example, 5x minus 2y is equal to 10. Okay? So 5x minus 2y then minus 5x to both sides. So matitira lang po dito is negative 2y equals negative 5x plus 10. And then we divide both sides by negative 2. So negative 2y over negative 2, that is y, equals negative 5x over negative 2, that is positive 5 over 2x. And then 10 divided by negative 2, that is negative 5. So, this will be our final answer. Next, let's identify the slope. The slope is 5 over 2. And then our y-intercept is negative 5. So, after we discuss on how to write linear equation from standard form to slope-intercept form and vice versa, so our next step, of course, we will graph linear equations. So, yung mga natutunan nyo po dun sa rectangular coordinate system, linear equation in two variables, uh, slope, and then yung kanina, yung pag-transform nga natin ng standard form sa slope-intercept form and vice versa, i-apply po lahat natin sa pag-wrap ng linear equations. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.